Ever wonder what semen retention is? Ever wonder what us girls thought about it? So Sips, I have to be honest with you, I really don't think something like this is possible. No, 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 Nains. It's totally possible. You know what? I know the best way to end this debate. Let's welcome Sarvesh Shashi, who's going to talk to us more about semen retention. Sarvesh, uh, so Nina and I were in a little bit of a disagreement pertaining to one of the vows that you took about semen retention. Can you tell us a little bit more about it? So, I mean, when I took up, when I was 18, when I heard one of the five places for celibacy, when I asked my teacher what it was, and when he told me what it meant, he said, you know, it's about... Uh, ensuring that you're retaining your semen in terms of you're able to take that energy, which is life, right? Because uh, semen is life at the end of the day that gives birth to a new child, etc. And if you're able to take that creative energy upwards to your brains, the amount that it can open up in life, both from professionally or whatever you want to do is just significant. And that's why a lot of people today uh, in different places think that, oh, Sarvesh's $15 million business is because of his celibacy and semen retention. Like I said, it's not just that. But yes, one of the reasons has also been able to consciously kind of be aware of what is happening in my body when the feeling of lust, love, wanting to do something physically, etc. comes in. Uh, in terms of uh, your body and how are you aware of that moment and how you change that energy to a direction where you want to put your energy and focus towards. Wow. And and you were just 18 years old, right? I, when, when you started. Right? Yep, I was 18. And you followed it up until today you are how old? 28. 28. 10 years. Wow. I have to ask you though, what happens now if a woman is interested in you and she doesn't really know your background or anything? I, I say it. Very, very clear. <laughs> and does not want to be your sister. Uh, <laughs> no I, I, I also, I also, I also tell them that, hey, listen, I, I, I think I have a lot of sisters in my life, so no <laughs> sisters. But yeah, we can be great friends. Um, when you initially started this practice, um, what would you, what is, what would be the first thing you do if you felt an urge? What, how does, like, how does one, what do they do? Do they just deep breathing, or what is it? No, I think the first thing as a step one is go go to the washroom and try going to the washroom in terms of, um, you know, going to the loo, using the loo, probably just quickly change your clothes and have a shower, you know, uh, with cold water, etc. So these were some immediate uh, immediate mechanisms that were uh, asked by my Guruji, were told by my Guruji to me to kind of do. And that's what I used to do. And you need to get out of that situation immediately because you end mm -hmm. up doing it for the two seconds of, uh, right. You know, uh, uh, happiness or, you know, uh, in, in your calmness in your life. And then after that, what happens? Nothing really. You feel sleepy most of the time. So, yeah. So, that doesn't accomplish much. So, when you started, what were some of the things that you noticed right away that when you were channeling that energy to other parts of your life, what was... So I was channeling a lot of it into my game, cricket, and I saw my game improving a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, and then when business happened, I started channelizing it into that. And I saw that going, of course, Jennifer Lopez doesn't often invest in many companies. So, yeah. Uh, looking at you, you are one of the most eligible bachelors in India, uh, doing great professionally, very good looking. And I know you're an excellent dancer, um, you know, so intelligent. There must be so, so many women throwing themselves at you. How do you manage? <laughs> are there people who, I think people, or rather today, uh, women that I've met across many aspects in life love the fact that I'm yogi in nature, which is, I mean, having a, wanting to have a purpose in life, wanting to have a meaning in life, etc. I think they are intellectually more stimulated with those stuff than purely what you call um, uh, looks and uh, money and professionalism, etc. I think a lot of people I've met fortunately today are wanting to support. And I think that support I get a lot in the form of friendship. So, you know, being an Indian boy, no matter how successful you are or no matter what you're doing in life, uh, the one wish that parents have is to see their children married. Um, how, how are you managing uh, this pressure from your parents? 
No pressure at all. Honestly, there's been no pressure at all. They've been super supportive. Even when I took the decision of say Mon Bharat for 40 days, seven years of this, all of this, I think there has been no pressure. They've been extremely supportive of every decision I've taken. Uh, and, uh, and I think that's one of the biggest advantages in my life that my friends and family both have been extremely supportive because, you know, in this kind of a journey, when you don't have enough support, you may end up, you know, losing a lot of people. And uh, I mean, no, no offense, but probably those people were never meant to be in your lives at all. Right. Cause you can't say, Oh, you can't go on a good path because you can't then be with me. Like that's kind of funny to hear. Right. So my parents have been super supportive, no pressure at all. In fact, how has your view about relationships, uh, romantic ones in particular, changed from the time you've taken up celibacy? Because you were 17, 18, just a teenager with, I'm assuming, raging hormones at that time. Um, you've had the last 10 years not just to be celibate, but actually become you know, the modern day yogi that you are today. Um, so your views on relationships, especially with women. See, I think, uh, you well, I, think, I think firstly, I think uh, women are probably, I don't know how many thousand percent stronger than men in life generally, right? Because women have to go through all the pain that they need to go through birth, uh, periods, um, you know, do all the stuff at home. I mean, the feeling of wanting to be a mother itself is a blissful feeling, right? At the end of the day. So I think a lot of, a uh, lot of us as men don't know whether we fully realize it. So I think one, my Guruji always says, the pain that a woman goes through at the time of birth is probably some 750 bones breaking together at one shot. So that's the amount of pain that a woman goes through. But a lot of men don't really recognize that. So if you're actually starting to see the qualities such as this in women, your feeling towards them, your you know, uh, kind of thoughts towards them is very different than, because I'm not saying lust or attraction or anything is wrong or right or whatever. It's great. I mean, if one is having, uh, you know, one is in a sexual relationship, you cannot just say, oh, I'm having sex just because out of love. It's not there. Lust is absolutely a necessity, but lust not in what people think, oh, you're lustful or whatever. There needs, it is a feeling. It is an emotion in oneself. It needs to be mixed. It needs to be done with awareness. It needs to be done with a lot of love, etc. For me, over the course of years, I think relationships, Relationship is all about three very important words, trust, love, and respect. Um, I think another thing we can talk about is this poll that you had pulled out on Instagram, uh, which we, we're dying to know the results. I think you had asked uh, men if they were willing to try out semen retention. So what happened with it? 3,300 people said yes. They want to attend my seven-day workshop, which is going to start very soon. Wow. Oh, wow. That's amazing because I did see that story of yours. And my first thought was, I bet he's not even going to get 1%. And if he does get 1% of people saying yes, it's probably, you know, followers of Sarva. But, um, and then like later on, when I saw that 98% were interested, I was absolutely amazed and surprised. Yeah, 98%. And you won't believe how many females said yes. Nope. But unfortunately, I can't do a workshop for females because I don't know how <laughs> Feels like it. What do you think uh, has attracted all of these people to like who are willing to try this out? I think my story. I think my story and the way people have put it right because uh, the recent why uh, articles and videos that came out said, "Hey, because of my celibacy, I got into a ten million dollar business." <laughs> yeah, actually, it's fifteen million dollars, but yeah. So, anyways, That's uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. So I think that was like wow. I mean, people are like, "Wow, what the hell?" That's like crazy. So. So have you, have you inspired any of your other friends to try this out? I, I believe so because I get at least two Instagram messages on a daily basis saying after seeing your video, I have started no fat. It's what it's called. And uh, my life has changed. So this practice is only, I mean, just doing that. It's not like there's no uh, process involved of like deep breathing or some kind of meditation. It's just no, abstinence. I, mean, I used to do a lot of meditation, etc. offhand that my Guruji asked me to do, but then I think there are some basic principles which I will probably tell during my seven day workshop uh, for people to kind of get into this. Oh, that's great. I can't wait to hear what happens at the seven day workshop. Uh, sure. Absolutely. You have to come back and tell us what happens. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Sarvesh, for giving us the insight on uh, you know, semen retention and the benefits of that. And I really hope uh, to hear more from you after your seven day workshop. 
no absolutely thank you nina thank you superna for having me it's an absolute pleasure all the very best to uh, such more such amazing conversations and enlightening people or uh, rather telling people that you know there's more to life uh, than what they just think it is and and i hope uh, the world kind of sees uh, a, a much better place for its people like y'all are doing fantastic stuff and uh, all the best to y'all and looking forward for more such conversations